Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Sun. This is Rohit and today I am going to discuss about Winter 25 new feature for admin. So if you want to learn something new, so please don't skip any part of this video. This is new features, maybe you don't know. Okay, so please if you want to learn these all new features, so please stay tuned and don't skip any part of this video. Okay, so before that let me tell you one thing. These all features is not available right now. If you want to learn this feature and implement, so you have to use uh, your last previous pre-release or that is summer 24. Winter 25 features automatically comes inside that org. So you can use it. Please note these things. Okay. So, and uh, also you can see this is the new logo of the winter 25 pre-release org. So let's get started without any further delay. So let me show you the first feature here. So first feature is dynamic highlight panel. This time to say like goodbye to compact layout or highlight panel okay so dynamic highlight panel we can use directly from you know fails in the lightning i builder page and uh, fails once you clicked on the fills now you can see the dynamic highlight panel you can just drag and drop anywhere as you want but in the top of the page here you can see and you can configure your fill using this you know uh, filled lookup here we will see this primary fills from dynamic highlight panel okay and uh, it's increased the length of the you know fills so up to 12 you can add inside this dynamic highlight panel and uh, previously it was only six fields in the highlight panel but in this dynamic highlight panel you can configure up to 12 fields at a time okay so let's see in the action okay so let me open my O. so this is my O. so how we can see that uh, highlight panel in the org pre-release org i already used last summer 24 and that winter 24 feature automatic comes here so that's why we can use existing or as well so just click on this app launcher search let's say any anything as you have let's say account contact case anything any tab okay let me open any account as we have let's say demo under the demo you can see that this is a record page of this account right i already configured that highlight panel you can see this one okay most of the fields we can cover here if you need like more fields you can add it but it's a limit up to 12 you can add here okay and uh, how we can configure it click on this gear icon edit this page once you edit this page in the component and fill section there is two options you have to toggle it like fills okay this fills so without fills you cannot see this one okay that is highlight panel here okay so this is highlight panel so here this is the highlight panel in the fields one okay so you can just drag and drop anywhere as you want let's say this one and it asking me like add fills here and action you can add the action let's say follow up new task new event add it same like that here you can also add the using this add action under the add action you can see here edit delete anything as you have let's say file poll log a call new case new account everything you can see here right now i'm not using any action you can configure the field this is account name account number okay also you can find out the fields as well here right this is the account here and you can just drag and drop that fields right so inside this one okay so in the fields one you can see the account number account owner right so you can just drag and drop anywhere like that here account source account number okay active done activity something like that so here you can see you can configure your highlight panel like that so it's no no need worry about like every time you have to go to the compact layout and that compact layout comes under the highlight panel no so this is a new feature you can leverage this feature using this one right so this is a very most important like highlight dynamic highlight panel you can add and remove your fields okay so this is the first feature let me go to this second feature here the second feature is object access so within the object we can access the you know object permissions permission set permission set group profiles within the object no need worry about we have to go to the particular profile and check the everything no so in this release in the object axis you can go ahead that particular object manager and let's say in my 
uh, example the object manager i'm using like account under the account we have option that is object access under the object access you can see the permission set permission set group and profiles you can check the access like read create edit delete view all modify all everything so how we can see let me open my org let me open the account as we have or click on the setup before that so under the setup you can click on the object manager open any object as you have in my case i'm using like account here you can see the new option please observe so this is the new option okay this one so you have to use it. so just click on the object axis once you click this object axis now you can see this account object have 18 permission set you can see the 18 permission set every permission set have these all axes read create edit delete view all or modify all permission set group this account object don't have any permission set group if you have then definitely it will becomes here profiles so you can see this object have this kind of object profile axis so here you can see this profile let's say system administrator have all the axes let's say create read edit delete view all or modify all you can check each and everything in a single place so that is the very most important features inside this winter 24 release right so let's see the next feature is next feature is access granted by this is also a good feature right so we can check each and everything inside the user details okay like uh, user uh, which profile have the access which type of license is a custom profile is the standard profile everything we can see how we can see so these kind of things we can see inside the access granted by this is the new feature so how we can see open the any no uh, users so you have to search like user click on the users once you open any user so click on the view summary under the view summary you can see here like uh, lots of things like uh, user access summary like user permissions object permissions right and uh, fill permissions everything you can see in a single place like that okay custom permission public group you queue membership in the user permission you can see like activities everything right these all permissions for this one right so let's say i want to open the object permission the account object so this user for this account object have all the permissions here you can see also another option once you clicked on this drop down you can see the new option access granted by so just click on this access granted by and immediately you can see permission set if we have the permission set of this user definitely it will comes here same for permission set group then profile you can see the uh, admin administrator profile right system admin profile so this profile and this user have the salesforce license and this profile uh, have the access like read create edit delete view all modify all for this user for this profile as well right so this is the new way to check access granted by okay so this is the new feature let me open the new feature and let me see the next feature so next feature is description field on the group and queues previously it was not available that is description field but in this release winter 25 you will be see this description field in your queues and groups so let's see in the action how we can see this description field let me open my org so under the here in the user or you can search here let's say public once you search the public just click on the public group click on this view page in classic i have one public group that's a demo click on this edit and now immediately you can see the description field this is a very most important let's say what kind of purpose uh, this user group or you know group have so enter the your you know story number here with the description about this user group so that is the beneficial of the description also you can search here like uh, queues as well so once you clicked on queues click on new then you can see the description field here okay so this is the new feature that is queue description or you know and group description everything okay so this is the new feature as well let me open 
let's see the next feature is so user list views so this is my favorite feature right so how we can see user list views so if you want to see this user list view you have to enable one setting before that is enhance user list view you have to enable it once you enable it now you can search the user under the user you can see the you know list view all user recently viewed everything you can search from here as well everything you can see so let's see in the action how we can utilize this feature okay let me click on this lightning experience and under this setup just click on this setup and once you clicked on this setup immediately in the you know quick find you have to search first of all user management so once you click this one user management you have to enable one setting before using that feature that is list view so just click here and now you can see this new feature enhance user list view so you have to enable this feature so once you enable it definitely you will be see this list view inside the user so how we can see that i already enable it you can see so let's see in the future so you have to search like user click on the users so once you clicked on this users immediately you can see here right like uh, uh, recently viewed right and this is the list view you can change like all as well like all right so once you click this all immediately you can see the full name alias username everything you can see and under here you also search like say john so once you search the john immediately you can see the user so that is very most important you can make it the filter refresh list view also create the list view everything so that is the most important feature here you can see the old user list view so please focus on this one this is the list view here right and these all feature of the list view and all here everything okay so this is new feature regarding this list view of the user so let's see the next feature is updated setup menu drop down so once you clicked on the setup you can see the little bit enhance of the ui that is setup menu this is the one you know text available after that you can see the underline then setup segregate each and everything right but you can see this setup menu here right so based on this setup menu you can easily understand all the things so let's see in the action so once you clicked on this gear icon immediately you can see here like setup menu so this is the new text here previously it was only directly like setup and everything here but in this release you can see the lots of much okay so here everything you can see here in a single place like this right setup menu setup setup service setup developer console edit page so this is the new feature here okay so this is all about the winter 24 new feature for the admin so guys i hope you learn these all new features if you feel this is the very more informative and these all new features very beneficial for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side also i request to you all okay so if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please give your comments thoughts suggestion under the comment sections okay so it would be good for us because of you know learning purpose and this is a new feature so i request to you all please do like share comments and subscribe the channel as much as you can so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye